Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's my DVT here today. I'm back with another video, guys. Today's video is a kind of relaxed session video because I just finished watching a movie on Netflix and I want to talk about that movie. And that movie is Kim by Beverly Nava. I'm going to put it on the screen so that you guys can see it. After watching this video, I have a lot of things to tell you, dark skin girls, before you bleach that skin. Okay? So if there's something you're going to be interested in, please stay tuned. So guys, um, the movie that I just finished watching was just talking about dark skin girls, um, dark, dark color women, why they should love their skin. Because if you look at nowadays, people want to get lighter. People feel like getting lighter is the main thing or is what you be called beautiful. As someone like me that sells cream and cosmetics online, okay, I tend to, let me just tell you guys, one thing that really, really sells a lot for me is anything called whitening. If that thing is not whitening, it's not be sold. Like, it takes a very long time to get sold. I don't just get it because if something is not whitening the skin, if something is not toning the skin, it takes a very long time for it to get sold out if I have it in, in the store, okay? And I tend to see that a lot of people want to lighten their skin. Even, some, even dark skin people, wants to lighten their skin i'm just kind of person that I've, i get to meet a lot of people online that come to meet me about skin issues about how they want to lighten their skin and how they want to look good you know people that send me some people send pictures of how they are their present skin and they send me pictures of what they want to look like later on you know but when a dark skin person i'm just get, trying to be honest with you guys okay when a dark skin person sent send me a picture of her skin and send me a lighter person version of that is what she wants to look like i feel very reluctant selling for that kind of person because i know that it is not easy to move from that skin color to a brighter skin color you might see light skin person or light skin girls on instagram on youtube on um cv everywhere so you might see them everywhere and you think that they are okay or they are beautiful or you think they don't have or they are perfect. That is, that is a lie. Okay, being light skin takes a lot of things. Takes a lot of things. It is not easy maintaining that skin color, especially when that is not your natural skin color. So when a dark skin person comes to meet me and be like they want to bleach their skin, I just, you know, I feel very reluctant. I know, yeah, it's my money and I want to sell the person. Sometimes I advise, it depends on how the person comes to meet me. I advise the person that why can't you just maintain this, your fine, dark skin? Why can't you just make it just look good? All you need is good body butters and good glowing oil and you are good to go, a good soap. So you don't need to get, they'll say no, they just want to tone. See, changing that skin color to another skin color is, is just out of it. Okay, so I watched that. Um, I like call it documentary on Netflix and I was just so touched. Although that documentary was so emotional and all of that, okay. How people just overlook you because you're dark skin. Yes, that's actually happened to me before. I wish I'm going to be making a video on that later, okay. It has happened to me before. When you're dark skin, people just look at you like as if your skin is dirty or as if you're, you are sick or something. As if you're not okay. Ah, why are you so black? Like, the way they ask, why are you so black? As if that black is a bad thing. Okay, okay. So, if you know that you're dark skin and you're watching this video and you're thinking of bleaching your skin or toning your skin, let me not use that bleaching because it's a bit like as if, oh, you're not bleaching, just want to tone. That's just a swish way to call it. Toning, lightening, brightening. You are changing your skin tone from another skin tone. Please do not even try it. And if you know that that is what you want to do, I'm not saying that it's 100% bad. It's not 100% bad. It takes a lot of time. And when you sit down, and to, when you start, the moment you start, you just know that you have to continue. Because when you start and decide to stop, you are not going to get that your beautiful dark skin again. Hope you get it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because once you start, the thing is don't even start at all. Because there are some people that they are so, their skin is so dark, so fine. All they need is just a good oil and a good soap. But no, they will say they want that whitening cream. And when, they, when you give them the whitening cream, they will start having dark knuckles. It will not, be, it's not blend. The skin will not blend. That's why you see some people that bleach their skin. 
Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's yellow. Because your skin already is fine. You tampering with it, you know, it's just... I, yeah, I know I sell cream and I can sell cream from anybody. But I always try to be realistic to my customers and to my clients and to people, my friends, my families. If you're that... As I am, like, it's present currently, I always envy dark skin person. Like, if your skin is dark, your, your melanin... The way I just look at your skin, I see, wow. Like, I look at you in a different kind of way. I wish I can be that kind of person. I wish I can have that skin. But I can't go back, okay? So, it's just, it's just crazy. So, if you know that I haven't watched that um, documentary on Netflix, I'm going to just put it up here, go to Netflix and watch it so that you would see. And I feel that you should watch it, especially for those that feel that if you are fair, that is what, why you are called beautiful. You are not beautiful if you are fair. Some people are light skin and they are not even beautiful. I'm not saying somebody is ugly, but you light skin does not make you the most beautiful girl in the world. You dark does not make the most beautiful girl in the world. Who you are. Okay, try to love your skin. Try to love the skin you have currently. Everything is not about changing from one thing to another. If you have time or you have people that have bleached their skin before, try and interview them. Try and interview them and ask them, how do you feel about... Because that's what Beverly actually did in that um, thing. Okay? A lot, of, a lot of people that have actually bleached their skin wish they never did because they didn't know what they were going into. A lot of people that bleached their skin way back were even open or wishing... They also want to tell them that don't go that way is a bad way, okay? Because it takes a lot of time. You light skin does not make you beautiful. So I just I just finished watching the documentary and I was like, okay. And I just related with a lot of people that still come to meet me when they are dark skin, they want to light up. I was like, okay, let me just come here to talk to you guys about it, okay? And maybe one or two person, I'm not saying everybody, but at least one or two person might be watching this video that wants to actually change their skin color, which your, your, your skin is fine, but you want to change your skin color. Maybe you might watch it and you'll be touched not to. Okay? Try to embrace your skin color. See, like, just try. I see some ladies that, that their skin is dark. I admire them. Like, I don't know. They are beautiful. I'm not saying when you're light skin, you're not beautiful as well. You are very beautiful when you're light skin. But do not be feeling intimidated with that skin color. That, is, that does not define who you are. Even if you go somewhere and they're like, oh, we, we just want light skin girls. Don't feel intimidated. There's a place that you go to that they'll tell you, we only want dark color skin girls. So don't feel like, oh, because they want dark skin person today, because they want light skin person today, I have to go and bleach my skin. Do you know what it takes to bleach your skin? I did a video of what, what it takes to bleach your skin, since you should know before you bleach yourself. I've done that video like months, I think early this year. You can just, I'm going to see, I'm going to link the video up here or down in the description box below. It takes a very long time. It takes dedication to bleach your skin. So, and it takes money. Okay, you have to spend a lot of money. The money you're supposed to spend to invest in your life, to eat and do fine hair, do wear fine clothes. You'll be spending it on cream. You'll be spending it on supplements. You'll be spending it on scrub, soap. So why can't you just stick to your skin tone and just maintain it? See, maintaining a dark skin color is the best thing. Like you're not going to spend too much money. That is it about this video. I just want to come here to encourage or tell you guys that bleaching of the skin or that skin person should love your skin. Love the skin you have. <laughs> I'm not saying you should, you should not try to look beautiful or something, but there are other ways to look beautiful than bleaching that skin. Okay, that your dark skin. At the long run, at the long run, later on, you tend to love your skin. You tend to be happy that you chose that dark skin color okay and this is just my opinion this is just my opinion if you know you don't agree with me you agree with people bleaching their skin i don't have any issues with you or if you know that what i'm saying is doesn't make sense i don't have any issues with you i'm just saying my opinion immediately after watching this movie or documentary okay 
that's just my opinion. I just feel like coming here to say it. I didn't even plan filming video. As you can see, I'm just in the sitting room, like watching TV right here. My TV is just here. <laughs> so that's just it. And yeah. I'm going to end the video right here. Yeah, if you've not subscribed to my channel and you've watched just to this point, that means you like me or you like my content, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give the video a huge thumbs up. I didn't say that early in this video. Give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Ah, subscribe, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.